Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Love and light. Welcome to my channel, Memoirs of an Empress. Here on my channel, we stay encouraged about um, diverse topics. And Sunday is just a very big day for me. Every Sunday, I get out and I worship God and um, I try to live my life all the time. You know, I'm trying to become a Proverbs 31 woman. And so Sunday is just a day, you know, where the praise and worship and all of that is just it's going on. And so today I'm here with a word of encouragement. Okay. Um, so I don't know why I feel it in my spirit, but I do. So let us pray. Okay. Before we move forward, I want to wish you guys a lot of love and light. Anybody watching this video, if you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you're coming back um, and you've been here before, welcome back. Um, let me say a prayer. I do say all my prayers in Jesus' name. I believe in the Trinity <clears throat> doctrine. And so I believe that God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all in agreement. They are all in one. So let's say a prayer in Jesus' name. If you touch and agree with me, let's pray this Sunday morning before I get into my topic. That is sure to encourage you. <clears throat> so let's go. Dearest Heavenly Father, Almighty, the Great I Am, the Universal Sovereign, Jehovah God, Jehovah Jireh, we love you, we praise you, we thank you, and Satan cannot have our worship because we worship you alone, you alone exclusively. Today, I come to you humbly. <laughs> I come to you to tell you that I love you, that I honor you, that I thank you, that I praise you, that I give you all the worship and all you are deserving of all the glory and all the honor because it was you alone that created us and because of you, everything and all things exist. Heavenly Father, we love you. We come to you today to ask you to be with us, giving us traveling mercies, coming into our hearts, coming into our lives, just looking after our children, keeping a hedge of protection around us in this chaotic world. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. And I ask you today, Heavenly Father, that you forgive us for any sins we have committed, known and unknowing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for what's already done. We thank you for your son, giving his uh, blood for us, dying for us so that we might have eternal life. I praise you, God. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to do things right because we know that obedience is important. Heavenly Father, happy Sunday. We love and honor you. Help me to deliver and pour into this um, spiritual talk, uplifting talk that I'm about to give. I love you and I praise you, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So guys, I'm going to jump right in to the um, talk. And I'm entitling this talk, Giants Do Fall. So hear me now, because I'm not the only one going through a storm or the only one that has giants in their lives. And these giants, sometimes they feel like, you know, they're so huge, they're so big, the problem is just so huge, it's so big, it may be a person that's doing something to you and it, you know, it may seem like they're so strong and tall. But remember, Goliath was the biggest, tallest giant and he had killed many people, many soldiers. But David came to him in the name of the Lord. And not only did he kill Goliath, but he killed him in such a way where people were stunned. They were stunned. Now, let me just say this, because I had a girlfriend of mine and she says to me, she says, you know, it always looks like my baby's father's winning and he's just so wicked, you know? And I wanna tell you this. When it looks like the enemy is winning, just remember biblical scriptures and stories about different people where it looked like, looked like 
See, it was an illusion. And sometimes, you know, the Bible is is always accurate. It says for us to wait on the Lord. And when you wait on the Lord, right, you don't have to wait and look a mess. You don't have to wait and look like you're being trampled on. You get up, you get your makeup on, ladies. You get your hair weave or your hair did or however you do it. And you do it. You do your eyebrows. You put on your gloss. You know, you buy that expensive bra that's going to keep your boobs up if they're falling down. You you do. You put on your tummy control. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix my boot. You can't see me because I'm in the car. And um, you do everything like you should because Jesus oiled his face in the wilderness. Jesus... In the wilderness for 40 days, oh, if you want to know how to do it, Jesus showed you how to do it. He wasn't in the wilderness crying out, you know, oh my goodness, I look, you know, look in a mess. He did what he had to do. And he was the in flesh, okay? Giants fall. Giants do fall. And see, you have to remember, Satan is powerful, he is powerful and he has riches in this world. And when people serve him, he gives them those riches. Yes, but Satan has, he's rich, but he's not God. And he does not have eternal riches, riches that won't. God says, store your treasures in heaven so that, you know, your treasures won't be able to, uh, be, be ruined, get destroyed, or where thieves break in. Um, and God is a, you know, God is a, owns the earth, the universe. He has the authority over everything. So you don't have to look at your opponent as, oh, they're winning, you know, um, or you might see them get something, or they might, you know, look like they're winning. No, it's all an illusion. You know why? Because the word of God is not, will never come back void. And the word of God is beneficial for teaching, for reproving, and for setting things straight. And one thing I do know is that the word of God says that a man, what a man soweth, a man will reap. And also that, you know, Sometimes it looks like the opponent, your enemy is winning because God needs to know that you're on his side. You know, we do have to wait on the Lord a little bit. Sometimes we have to wait on the Lord a long time. But know that all things work out for those who love God. All things, all good things work out. And if you have faith and you stand on Christ, the solid rock, you will never waver. You will never waver. Now you may wobble, but you won't fall because God's got you. Now, whatever your storm is, whatever your giant is in your life, and there's many, I plead the blood today over cancer. Lord, I plead the blood today over people that's going with through what I go through, I'm going through where they've took your children. Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus over children that are being hurt. Lord God, I plead your blood over women that are being beat on or in a domestic violence relationship. Lord God, I plead the blood over disease. I plead the blood over uh, pestilence. I plead the blood over plagues. Lord, I plead your blood because your blood is sufficient and it is enough. Jesus already conquered this world. He said it was done. He, we are walking in Jesus' finished works. The work is complete. The work is complete. Now, how are you going to walk it out? <clears throat> I decide to walk it out looking good. I decide to walk it out praising my God because he is just that good. I decide to walk it out sometimes on my knees. I'm just coming, Lord, and I'm praising. And I got my head down and I got my tears flowing because I know Lord, the Lord said, bring your petitions to me and make them known to me. God hears us, Christians. God hears us, saints. God hears us, believers. But we have to know that God is real. God is real. I dedicate this to my pastor, the late Ross E. Myrie. 
pastor said to me one day, he said, sister, Janine, he said, I see your kids coming back. He said, and you did a dance in my church. You broke the pews. I had to buy new pews. I'm going to have to buy new pews when your kids come back, when they returned. And I said, wow. And when my pastor went to sleep in death, you know, I cried and I prayed and I said, God, the pastor didn't get to see my children. And the spirit said to me, he re the spirit revealed to me, he saw your children come back you have to see your children come back yep and that was saying that my faith needed to be where my pastors was there was not a doubt that I was going to dance and break those pews and I say this to you guys today because I'm a mother coming to you and um these clowns that are out here in the circus I do not entertain okay because I'm not a joke and I'm not part of a circus audience. You let the clowns turn on each other and clown themselves and you remove yourself because you are a child of God and you just wait for the glory to be manifested because it's already done. It just has to manifest here on earth. Giants do fall, Goliath fell. I'm pleading the blood today over all of our giants. My God is able. I love you. Happy Sunday. Have a great one. Gloss those lips. Put a smile on and rip the runway. Walk this life because you are equipped to walk it. Happy Sunday. Love and light. And thank you for coming to my channel.